Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make these lovely wall hangings. They're like mandalas. This one's got a long fringe on it. I'll show you how to add to the fringe. You can take the fringe higher up if you want. And I've just sort of cut it in an angle so when it dangles down it's all sort of like a jellyfish. <laughs> now you can put beads on here if you want. You can put some beads on if you want to do that. Now I've doubled up my embroidery hoops. These are embroidery hoops and you can get them online. Get them on eBay, Amazon, just Google embroidery hoops you can use plastic or you can use wooden now i've got the rim on as well but you don't need to put the rim on if you don't put the rim on then you just end up with just one wooden ring i'll show you how to just stitch it around but you don't need to put that one back on you can leave it just around the one rim i'll show you that thicker yarn is going to curl faster so that's when you'll do an increase round. And that's why I've never written this out. I've never written this out as a proper pattern because when it gets to a certain size, it will go wavy unless you like that because of that large increase to keep this crossover pattern correct. So I'll show you how to do it. Now this yarn was done with this Carnival Hobby, Carnival Yarn. I've got um, a sort of bunched up ball of it. <laughs> well, it was like that, and then it fell on the ground, and it got, it just got, it got stuck under a chair, and I pulled it, and all the bit all came out of the inside. But I've got a wool winder; I can wind it up. So that's what this one is done. This one is done with number five, color number five, for the hobby carnival. This one was done with this riot yarn. It's very similar. It's very similar. Look at this. These are just so similar to each other. This is Hobby's own brand. And this is King Cole. And do you know something? If I had them on the shelf with no labels, I wouldn't be able to tell much difference at all. Look at that. I didn't even realise that. This is King Cole Riot. And this is the Hobby Carnival. And look at that. They're almost the same, except for the colour. But the way it's made is exactly the same. It's exactly the same. I didn't even know that. So anyway, we live and we learn, don't we? There's a lot of manufacturers get their yarn from the same place that makes the yarn. This one is called Juniper. The number on this is 1690 and this one is called Juniper and it is Kinko Riot and I just cannot believe that I've just realised that these are almost the same yarns, the same, even though it's different companies, it's like being made in the same place. But anyway, that's what that one was and that's what that one was, that one's a carnival and that one's Kinko Riot. Hobby Carnival. So I'm going to show you how to do this and I'll show you how to add this fringe in if you want as well. So to do a magic circle, have the tail in the front of your hand. Wrap your yarn around and cross it over. Now go behind, pull your yarn through like this and just let it go. Get your working yarn and put it around your hook, around your hook and pull it through that stitch and that is your magic circle. I'm going to pull it slightly smaller, that's how you tighten it. Now this magic circle tightens up really, really tight and it stops you from having a hole in the middle once you sew that tail in. Now you can do a chain of four and slip stitch it together but just rewind the video and watch that again it's really worthwhile knowing how to do a magic circle so I'm going to do another two chain so I've got my first one that we did and one and two now that counts as your first UK treble crochet or US double crochet 
we're going to put another 17 stitches inside this magic circle. So yarn over and through, pull your yarn through, you've got three loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and again, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. So I've got, count your chain, one, two, three. We need 18. So that's 17, and one more makes 18. All together, and that includes your chain of three. So including your chain of three, we've got 18. So we're going to pull that tail, and that is going to close that magic circle. It's going to pull that in. Just pull that through there. Pull that down. Now into the top of the chain of three. One, two, three. You're going to do a slip stitch and just pull it through. So you've got 18 stitches. Now into each stitch, we're going to put two more treble crochets. We're going to do a full increase. That's two into each stitch. So chain three, that's one, two, and three. Now right into that same space there, do another treble crochet. So you should have 36 stitches. 18 and 18 is 36. So we're going to put two into the next stitch. Let's catch that one, it'll be a little tight. One and two into the same stitch. Two into the next one, all the way around. And this is our foundation. Now this pattern works on a stitch count of three. So that's why I've done 18 and then done two into each to give me 36. Because I think when you divide that by three, you get 12. So two into each stitch all the way around. So I've got my 36 stitches. So into the third stitch in the chain, one, two, and three, you're going to slip stitch. Oops. Doesn't want to slip stitch. There we go. And through. Now what we're going to do is that's your two row that's your two rounds of the foundation done. Now we're going to start the pattern and row one of the pattern. You're going to chain three, one, two, and three. That counts as your first stitch. So into the next stitch, you're going to put one UK treble crochet. And that should go two. You've got your chain of your other row. We're going to the next stitch. Okay, so that's your chain of three. We're going to go around the stitch next to it, here. So put your yarn around twice. We're going to do a UK double treble. If you're in the USA, that's a treble crochet for you. So find your chain. One, two, three. That's your chain. Now we're going to go around the stitch next to it. So just go around, push your hook through, and scoop up the stitch. We're doing a front post stitch. The post is on the front of your hook. Yarn over and pull it through and pull it up. Got to pull it up. Yarn over, you're going to come through two loops. Yarn over, through two loops. Yarn over and through the last two. 
So what you're going to do now is you've got a stitch in there. You're going to skip that stitch and go into the next one and do a treble crochet. So skip a stitch and do a treble crochet. And if you're in the USA, these are double crochets for you. And one into the next stitch. Yarn over twice. Now we've went around that stitch there. What you're going to do is you're going to skip two. So skip that one, skip that one, and we're going to go around that one. So around that stitch in the row below. And pull up, remember and pull your yarn up so it keeps your stitch tall. Yarn over, come through two loops, yarn over, through two loops, yarn over and through two loops. Yarn over, now there's a stitch in there, so you skip the next stitch and do a treble on that one and one on that one. So skip a stitch, put one into that one and one into the next one. Yarn over twice. Now we've worked that one, so you're going to skip two and go around that one. So you're skipping two in between here. So around there and pull up through two loops, yarn over through two loops and through two loops. Yarn over, skip a stitch treble crochet in the next stitch and in the next stitch yarn over twice now we've worked that one you can see where it is so skip one skip one and go around the third one and that's what's going to make that sort of pinwheel pattern skip the next stitch now there is a stitch in there so it looks like you're skipping a big space but there's a stitch in there so skip that one and go into that one and one into the next one now you keep your stitch count because you've got your stitch up here from that big long stitch so yarn over twice, we've worked that one, we've done that one, so skip one, skip two and go around the third one and do that all the way around. So we've done our pattern row, you're going to chain three, one, two and three. So into the next stitch you're going to put two treble crochets, two treble crochets into the next stitch, one, this is the increase row, stops it from, it stops it from turning up, so that's two into that stitch, put one into the next stitch and two into the next stitch, one, and two. Put one into the next stitch and two into the next stitch all the way around. So round two of the pattern is the increase round. Now I've done one and then an increase of two in the same stitch one in the next stitch, then two in the next stitch, then one, then two, all the way around. Now I've got two in my last stitch and into the top of the chain I'm going to slip stitch. Now that will go flat as it gets bigger. We're going to chain three. One, two, three. So we've done that chain, you're going to wrap around twice now you're going to go to the row below and you're going to go back to that increase stitch you're going to go around this stitch here of the increase so that's your chain there you're going to count one and two and we're going to go around that one so around that one 
So that's your chain of the row below, so count one and go around the second one. And pull up, through two loops, yarn over, through two loops, yarn over and through two loops. So in the row below, that's your chain of three, you're counting one, two and going around that one. So yarn over, skip the next stitch and do a treble crochet into that stitch and one into the next stitch. And again, you're going to go one, two. We went around that one, we're going to skip that one and skip that one and go around that one. one. Just like we did in that other row. So skip the next stitch, treble crochet into that one. And that's a double crochet if you're in the USA and one into the next one. Yarn over twice, skip two and go around that one. So skip a stitch, one into that one, one into the next one, yarn over twice, skip two and go around the post in that row below. So there's a stitch in there, so skip that one. one and two. Yarn over twice, skip that, so there's one there, we'll skip that one, skip that one and go around that stitch there. Yarn over, so there's a stitch in there, don't count that, skip that one and work the next two. Now, like I said, don't worry about it curling. It will flatten out. It will flatten out. So we're going to continue with an increase round and a pattern round, an increase round, a pattern round and an increase round until we've got seven rounds from this first pattern round. Don't count the two centre rounds. Count from the pattern, that's one round, two rounds, three round. I'm going to do an increase round, that'll be round four. Then a pattern round is five, an increase round is six, and a pattern round for seven. This is round four. We're going to chain three. One, two, and three. Now into the bottom of that chain of three, down here, you're going to do one more treble crochet. We're going to increase. This is our increase round. Into the next stitch, we're going to do one treble crochet. Into the next stitch, you're going to put two treble crochets. You're going to increase. So put two treble crochets into the same stitch. The next one, one treble crochet. And if you're in the USA, these are double crochets for you. It's the same stitch. We just call it something different. Into the next one, you're going to put two. One and two. Keep your stitches nice and loose. Into the next one, one. And then increase in the next one. So you'll put two stitches into the same stitch here. Then one, and increase. Put two into the next stitch, all the way around. And you should get all the way around here and you should have an increase and a single crochet here. You should put one in here at the end and you'll join into the chain of three. And then we'll do the pattern row again. I'll, once I get round, I'll show you that pattern row one last time. And then we'll go from the pattern row 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So I'm at the end of my row and I'm going to slip stitch to the top of that chain. 
So we've done row 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now we're going to do row 5 as a pattern row again. So chain 1, 2 and 3. Now into the next stitch you're going to do a treble crochet. Now wrap your yarn twice around your hook. That's your chain and the row below and you're going to go around the post of the one next to it. So find your chain of three and that row below, that's it there, right under that chain and we're going around this stitch here. Do your front post and pull through to yarn over pull through to this wool is a little bit fluffy so there's a stitch in there so skip the next stitch and do a treble crochet so skip a stitch treble crochet treble crochet into the next stitch now you can see what I mean about it going up with all these extra stitches and it will start to go wavy but we only do these two rows until we get to row seven so we've done our treble crochet around that stitch there so we're going to count one two and we're going around this stitch so yarn around twice so miss two and work around that one pull up go yarn over skip a stitch and we'll do one treble crochet in that stitch oh the little hairs of this yarn's catching and one into the next stitch yarn over twice you're going to skip two stitches this way and go around that stitch skip the next stitch one treble crochet, one into the next stitch, yarn over twice, skip two stitches and around the next stitch. So there's one already in that stitch there, so skip that stitch, skip and work that one and you'll do this all the way to the end and work the next one yarn over twice now we went around that post so we're going to skip two one two and work around that post and we'll go around you're going to skip one and work all the way around so we've done one, two, three, four, five rounds. The next round will be your increase round. That's round six. And then we'll do a pattern round and that's round seven. And I'll come back and show you how to add to do the next one, which is a treble crochet round and follow the pattern. So I've done up to round eight. Now, if you want to count these two rounds in as well, it's round 10. But well, starting from the pattern, I've done seven rounds from the first pattern up to here. These are the four rounds you'll keep repeating. A treble crochet round, then a pattern round. You'll do an increase round and then a pattern round and then go back to the treble crochet round. So on this one, we're going to chain three, one, two and three. Now into every stitch you're going to put a UK treble crochet and that is a double crochet if you're in the USA. So one into each stitch all the way around. So from this round on you'll have four rows and they're the four rows that you'll keep repeating. So this is what we have now. 
So this is the start of the new four round pattern. You're going to do a treble crochet round. Now I'm going to slip stitch to the top of this chain of three. Slip stitch. So the next round, the next round is a pattern round. So we're going to chain three, one, two, and three, and that's your first treble crochet. So into the next stitch, into the next stitch, you're going to do a treble crochet. And if you're in the USA, that's a double crochet for you. Now that is the chain in the row below. It matches up with that one. So what you're going to do is you're going to go around that stitch beside it. That's your chain of three. And you're going to go around that post. So twice around your hook and around that post. Pull your yarn through and pull it up. Make sure you pull that stitch up so it's not too tight. So there's a stitch in there. So you're going to skip the next stitch and work these two. So skip that stitch. Do a treble crochet in this one. And a treble crochet in that one. Now when you skip the stitch, it is because that one would normally fit in there. So you're still keeping your stitch count because this one's just going diagonally and that's why you skip that stitch behind it. It would normally just fit in there like that. But we've made it go across. So we're going to yarn over twice. We've used that one so count one, two and then go around that post. So skip two in this row and go around that one. And Pull up, make sure you pull it up, through two loops, yarn over through two loops, yarn over and through two loops. So you're going to skip a stitch and work the pattern around your circle. So yarn over twice, skip these two and go around that one. So skip a stitch and go that one and that one then around twice we've been around that one so you're going to skip that one and skip that one and go around that one there we go so there's a stitch already in there so skip this next stitch and work these two so skip a stitch and that's what you'll do all the way around. So I've got my round done. It's just slightly smaller than the inside of my hoop. I'm going to take that one off because it's this one that it's going to get sewn through. It's going to get sewn around this loop. Now I've got one more round to do. Now, like I said, we did the two center, we did the two center rounds. We did a pattern, an increase, a pattern, an increase, a pattern, and an increase, and then a pattern. So we got seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we did the seven. Then I did one round of full treble crochets. And then I did one pattern round and that takes me up to row 9. If you include these two, it's row 11. But in the pattern, it took me up to row 9. But row 8 was one round of treble crochet. Now if you want to make this bigger, as you can see, you can go bigger with this. Do the treble crochet round and the pattern round the treble crochet round the pattern round the treble crochet round a pattern round until yours starts to curl up like this when it curls up like this if you want to do a blanket that's when you'll add in that increase round where you'll do two treble crochets into the one stitch, one treble crochet, two treble crochets, then one, two is the increase, 
and then one into the next stitch two and one two and one all the way around and that will increase it and then you'll do the pattern round a treble crochet round a pattern round treble crochet until again when it curls so when it starts to curl again then put in a increase round but I don't know when to tell you to do the increase round because I don't know what yarn you'll use. If you use a different yarn for me, it might curl earlier, it might not, it might stay flat for quite a while and then curl and you'll add that increase round. The increase round makes it flat again. So you can extend this to as big as you want if you're prepared to do the treble crochet, the pattern, treble crochet pattern until it curls, like that. But anyway, I'm just doing the small size, so we don't need to worry about that. This is a 12 inch, so if you measure that the ring is 12 inches, this is about 11. I'm going to add one more round onto my work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop my ring aside so the last round that you're going to do on this is a UK double crochet. If you're in the USA, that's a single crochet round. So I'm going to chain one. So into the next stitch, I'm going to do one double crochet. This is the round that we're going to use to stitch the mandala or mandala into the loop, into the hoop. So one double crochet all the way around, don't do it too tight, just put one into each stitch and this is the round that we're going to use to stitch it around that loop. So I've got all the way around with my double crochet and I'm going to cut a large tail off my yarn. Not too long. I'm going to slip stitch into that first one I did in that line and just pull my yarn through. Just pull all that yarn through and finish that off. Needle. And it's quite blunt on the end, it's not sharp at all on the end. And what we're going to do is I'm going to get my hoop back. That's the inner hoop. So what we're going to do is we're going to wrap the yarn around the hoop and with the needle come in from the back into the next stitch. Just come in through the next stitch and pull it up. And this is what we're going to do through every stitch in your circle. Just come around the stitch and pull through. Just hold it there like that. Bring your needle through and go through that top of that stitch. And just work your way around your mandal or mandela. Just, I think it's a mandala actually. So around like that, all the way around. And you're going to attach, you're going to attach your circle of work to the wooden hoop. So I've got my mandala all so I've still got that little end. I forgot to sew that in. I'm going to stitch that in. I've got it stitched around the hoop like this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take oops, this one and we're going to open it up. Now you can leave it like that if you want. You don't need to put this one over it if you don't want to. So I've taken that right off, I'm going to put it around this one, get it on nice and neat, then I'm going to put my bolt back in and tighten up, just got to tighten that up 
around my hoop. Now you don't need to put this hoop on, you can keep this hoop and use it as well. You don't need to put it on around the framework. So you can keep it on. Now what else I'm going to show you is what you can do with this is you can put fringing on. Now I just took a big long length of my yarn and I folded it and folded it and folded it. And then I cut one set of the folds off. And what you can do is you can take these in sets of two, like this. Figure out what side you're going to do. Push a hook through there. Pull it through. And then just loop that on like that. And you can make a fringe on this. And you can hang it up. You can hang it up with a great big fringe on. You can make it any length you want. You don't need to do that. But I think it looked really pretty if it did have that on it. So I've got my fringe on this and I've got this one finished and look at that with that fringe on there. What I've done, I just pulled long lengths of yarn. I'll show you what I did with this. I just pulled a big long length, great big, big, big long length of yarn. Then I folded it. Then I folded it again and I folded it again. So it was the length that I wanted and that's what did the fringe and i showed you in the video how to attach that on you can put beads on it if you want you can put anything on it you can even just put feathers on these if you want to do feathers i do have a video on my channel how to do yarn feathers for dream catchers you don't need to put anything on it you can just do it like that so thank you very much for watching. Give these a try. Please subscribe to the channel and please click on the bell icon and YouTube will tell you when I put up another tutorial. So until the next time, happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.